Hello. Um, how you doing, book nerds? My name is Jeff Herbach, and I'm the author of uh, a new book called Hooper. Um, I'm going to talk just a little bit about where that book came from. So uh, I grew up um, very short uh, and incapable of playing very good basketball, although I was sort of a, a legend on the cement courts because I'm, I'm quick and I'm also very sly. Uh, so it, when I got to college, I played with my friend Lara constantly, um, and, and we played really well together. She would actually uh, put her hair into pigtails and then whip our opponents in the face um, in order to gain advantage, and, and we won many, many times out there. Um, but I'm not great, but I, I've always loved the game. I was actually um, a football player, uh, and, and that sort of suits my... Um, I guess physicality a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> now as an adult, I, I write books, uh, and I my books I write are are really geared for for kids who don't find a lot of stuff to read, um, or you know they've tricked themselves into believing that they don't want to read, which is uh, just a hideous mistake, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, and so I I do end up writing a, a lot about sports uh, in my books. Um, Hooper is about this kid, Adam, and he is, uh, a, a, an adopted kid from Poland. Um, he's come to the United States, uh, now is, uh, uh, in a small town in Minnesota where his mother is a professor of Slavic literature, um, at a, a small little college, uh, in rural Minnesota. Uh, and in, in the U.S., uh, Adam has found himself uh, to be a great basketball player. Not the best, but good and, and getting better all the time. Um, good enough, in fact, that he becomes a, um, it, he receives an invitation to become a, a member of an elite uh, team in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, and a lot of the conflict comes from him uh, integrating into uh, a group of players who've known each other for a long time. Um, most of them are black. He's a, a white kid who they call farmer. Uh, and they wonder why this white kid has been invited to play with them. Um, and also dealing with, uh, issues around being an immigrant, uh, at a time in, uh, the U S where that's not always easy. Uh, my father is a, a refugee from the Holocaust. Um, my, he was a little kid, um, my grandparents escaped Antwerp, Belgium. Everyone who stayed in uh, Antwerp died. Um, so the treatment of refugees and immigrants in this country is of, of grave concern to me. Uh, and I wanted to integrate um, a story, of, you know, a real American story about triumph in sports and hard work um, with uh, a story about uh, you know, what it feels like to be sort of despised for who you are, um, you know, you've got no choice about that. Uh, and also an understanding of uh, what being good at a sport um, does for a kid. And, and Adam learns that he does have a certain kind of privilege uh, and he feels a certain kind of responsibility from having that privilege. Uh, and that sort of understanding evolves into him um, Doing some sort of heroic stuff, um, he's led by a, an African American kid named Devin into doing that, uh, and 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 bringing that uh, understanding back to the small town where he lives to to also do some some heroic stuff. So that's that's where it comes from, you know. I I love sports. My friend Laura and I, with the pigtails, played a lot. Um, I'm short, so I can't play an elite level. So I wanted to write about it, um, and and then. You know, I wanted to talk about uh, my family and their experiences as refugees, where they were embraced um, in the United States, and what it must feel like now not to be embraced, uh, uh, and and what one can do if they've got the privilege of being great at something, um, as as Adam is with basketball. Well, I hope you like it, Hooper. Email me if you've got questions. Book nerds, thank you so much for listening. Bye bye.